you wrote about somebody saying that there was a danger in Megan becoming bigger than Diana. I think it was, you know, um, a courtier or somebody said that they were, they were, there was concern that Megan would become bigger than Diana and it would really kind of shrink the Cambridges. It would shrink Charles and Camilla and their, their objectives and what they were trying to do. Do you think that that was really an option that, that Meghan Markle could become bigger than Princess Diana? Well, this is, this is what was being said at the time. And remember, uh, we didn't have social media when Diana was around, and now we do. So you can be incredibly well known globally very quickly. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that what happens is that in the royal family, it's all about position, not popularity. Now, let's just let me take you back to the 1960s when Princess Margaret married Lord Snowden. A photographer and they were the most popular people on the planet uh, alongside Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton and you know the paparazzi and they didn't even have a name for the paparazzi in those days would chase them all around Europe to these exclusive islands and people couldn't get enough of this couple this golden couple and they outshone the Queen and Prince Philip but that that kind of that balloon eventually sinks and it's you're back to the position and margaret always you know, acknowledged the fact that she was the, the 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 number two and it was always the queen who was the number one and there is a similarity between megan and harry and um catherine and william in the sense that um megan and harry were enormously popular uh, when they did that first tour of Australia. But as the Queen, if she sat them down, would remind them, when she did her first tour of Australia in 1954, it, the crowds were astonishingly big. And, uh, and I remember when I did the, the first tour of Diana and Charles in 1983, well over a million people turn, uh, turned out to see them. But the second time and the third time, not quite so many. And so there was obviously when, when Meghan and Harry came back from Australia on a high and thought that, you know, they were the golden couple. Yes, they were, but that only lasts for so long. I mean, you know, in 10 years time, when Meghan's 50, would as many people turn out to see them? No, they'd be, they'd be wanting to see George and Charlotte and, and Louis, you know, the, that's the, uh, and that's the immutable royal round, as it were. The cycle.